The Twin Cities' newest brewery and tap room is now open. Prize Brewing Company opened the location along the Mississippi River in Minneapolis just last week. But uh, this place has more than just beer to offer. A lot more. Yeah, joining us in the CCO kitchen this morning is brewmaster and founder Jeremy Prize to tell us more. Jeremy, great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us, you've you've been working towards opening your own tap room for quite some time now, right? Yeah. So we um, so three years ago, I actually released Miraculum, and this is at the point where I was uh, I was actually brewing in Minnetonka at Lucid and. Uh, at the same time of brewing, packaging, and doing deliveries, and and, um, and getting everything kind of processed, the people and doing sales, um, just kind of took a long time. And three years coming, we've had a lot of people enjoy Miraculum. Miraculum got a very good response. It's a really good beer. Yeah, it's uh, it's taken that time for three years to get to this point to release new beers, and now people that are amped and excited so to have new beers at the tap room, and so it's been a. Uh, it's been pretty well. What kind of beer do you brew? I mean, besides Miraculum, do, what, so, do you have like a certain style that you like to do? Yeah, it's well, we kind of do across the board. Yeah. Um, so we don't like to be held to one thing, and so we've kind of designed our system behind being able to do multiple different brands. So, um, kind of getting that going, and um, just being able to to kind of go to trends and kind of what we enjoy as a brewery and as kind of our culture. So. So what are we looking at here? What did you bring? So today we brought our um, pour an extra stout, and oh. then we also brought our which is nice chocolate notes to it. So we have two beer malts in this one. This is actually fantastic. People. Have really been going after this, one, which is nice. Then we have Miraculum, which people are used to, and then I brought the blonde and then the session. So this is bright, um, epic, and juicy, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, low alcohol, so being a session at 4.2 percent alcohol, you can enjoy many, many of them throughout the day, which is yeah, really nice. Yeah, that is nice. Sometimes when you go to the, the breweries and it's like seven percent, you're like, oh, yeah. I can only have like half of one. Yeah. So like that. That's you, but well, that's fine. You know? Okay. Well, the big ones. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little more body mass to handle. A little. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at some pictures of your tap room. It's a beautiful location. Tell us Thank about you. the location. Location and uh, the fact that it is more than just beer in, in the prize tap room. Yeah, so we just kind of want to do something different. Um, like I said, we had three years to think about this. We're really thinking about how we can make it different, what we can do. So, based upon looking at where the location is, um, being on uh, 1401 West River Road, being on the Mississippi River. You're on the river. Huge. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, neat. Doing something different, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we introduced a new game called Feather Bowling. Okay, is that what we saw? Kind of the grass there? Yep, yep. So it brings greenery into the place, but not only that, but. Um, Feather bowling is one of those things that is just different that nobody's really heard about. Yeah, so you I haven't roll heard about this it. sucker yep. down so, the grass mm. and yep. you knock down feathers? Nope. So the feather <laughs> stays. The what feathers, do you do? So the feather stays about four feet back from the end. And what just like bocce, where you kind of have a finesse uh, to it, oh. you have to try to make it close to the feathers if you can. And so what this Wait, does. Well, that would, how, that's pretty that? heavy. Yeah, oh. uh, you gotta go. But instead of like bocce being a flat surface, this right. is yeah. concaved. So you have to kind of cool. go around other balls. To make and you're happen, doing so. pizza huh. too, right? We are. Um, so the pizza is actually pretty awesome. A different thing that we couldn't call anybody for and ask questions is we put, instead of having food trucks out, we want to bring that experience inside. Since we live in Minnesota, it gets cold yeah. in December, January. Um, we want to kind of give back to our accounts that have been with us since day one. And um, so our first person we're having there is uh, Red Wagon Pizza. And great, so the concept great. is. Oh, so is, they come in. They come in and it's kind of lease term. So they come in for three to six months or whatever it is, yeah. and uh, they stay, and it's their kitchen. Yeah, they run the kitchen, and we kind of do everything else around, so it's an in-house awesome. kitchen. Stout's delicious. Really thank nice. You. Jeremy, yeah. thank you. Congratulations. Make sure you check out our local Tap Talk blog on WCCO.com. We have an in-depth look at more local breweries, and you can read more about Prize. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.